Have you ever wondered why people at the restaurant they repeated your orders? According to a research done uh, in a Dutch restaurant, it is proven that when waiters and waitresses repeated your orders, they will have 70% higher chance of getting tips from you. And exactly today, I want to share with you about this one concept called strategic mimicry, or in NLP we call mirror match. So the reason why I share this is because this will help you to develop better liking from your prospects and your customers as well. So in this video, I will share with you there are three things that you can mirror match your audience. So in some concepts, they're called attunement or mimicry or mirror match. So the simple idea is this. So when you're speaking to the person, you may want to be like a mirror to them. So things like uh, tonality, when they speak fast, you speak fast. When they have an interested body language, higher gesture. So you may want to have higher gesture as well when you talk. Because why? People like people who are like each other. So therefore, the three things are number one, body language. For example, if they lean forward, you also lean forward. If they sit more relaxed, you also sit more relaxed. Uh, if they cross their legs, you also cross your legs. So uh, if they do a little bit of head tilt, you do head tilt as well. Next is tonality. How fast they talk, how loud they speak, you may want to mirror that. However, do not mirror match the person's tonality if he or she is angry. Last but not least, choice of words, or in short, language and the level of language that you're talking to them. Don't use jargons if you're talking to somebody who is more lame and is speaking to you. So therefore, three short messages to share with you. However, the point is this, it's strategic. Now means what? There are a few things that you can and there are a few things you can't mirror match. These are things that you can, but what you can't mirror match is number one, do not mirror match them when they're doing minute gestures like scratching or they're touching their hair. Don't follow that. Number two, do not mirror match the person on the spot. Usually I recommend you take around five seconds. So when they fold their legs or when they cross their arms, so wait until 5 seconds, then you only mirror match them. The reason why? Because you don't want to get caught or else it will backfire. And number 3, do not mirror match if physically you can't. So for example, if, if your prospect is sitting down and you're standing, um, which has a table to lean on, and if you're standing nothing to lean on, then don't pretend to lean on something, right? So and strategic mimicry, do not let the person catch you because else it will backfire. So therefore, strategic mimicry can help you so that your prospects and your customers can better like you. Short video, short tips, and have fun. With that, thank you so much. Signing off, Wesley Chan.